guys see a rocket anywhere? I think this is where it landed, but I can't really see anything. It's too dense in here. Where is this rocket at? Um, I think we might have lost it, guys. <sighs> This is an air tag, and if you somehow don't already know what one of these is, they're basically just a small little thing that can help you track anything that you needed to, such as your keys, your wallet, or really pretty much anything that you needed to track. They're actually super helpful, which is why I already have a bunch of them. So today, I'm gonna see if you can use these little air tags to track your model rockets. But there's one big problem. So I've been building and launching model rockets for a couple of months now, and there's only one problem that I've been running into consistently. And that problem, as you can probably already tell if you've watched any of my other videos, is that I lose them. A lot. It might be a lost cause. The little rocket that could went way too far. Well, I think it's in the trees again. Uh, I can't lie to you guys. I see zero signs of this rocket. Usually, I just accept it and move on to the next build, but there was one rocket that I built that took me so long to make, and when I lost it, that was the moment that I decided I needed to change something. But you guys haven't even seen this video yet, so if you're patient, you can see it in an upcoming video. But when I started looking for solutions online, I realized that I just didn't have that kind of money yet. $200 for what? It just makes a lot of noise. So I decided to see if I could build something for myself with stuff that I already had. And that is exactly where the air tag comes in. They're small, lightweight, and I already own a few of them. So in theory, they should be absolutely perfect for the job. So I pulled up my CAD software and I started designing. After we'd finished the design, I went online to get it printed. And with that, I wanted to say thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. And speaking of them, if you somehow don't know who or what PCBWay is, let me lay it out for you. PCBWay obviously makes and manufactures PCBs. And if you don't know what a PCB is, they're these little things. But PCBWay is way more than just a PCB manufacturer. They're basically a one-stop shop for turning any idea that you have into a real physical part. While I personally use them for 3D printing parts of my projects with filaments that I don't usually have the money for, Bruh. They also offer PCB fabrication, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and even rapid prototyping services. For 3D printing specifically, PCBWay supports a huge range of different filaments and processes. Everything from PLA all the way up to engineering grade plastics and metals, such as aluminum, steel, and titanium. But what really sets PCBWay apart is that if your project grows past 3D printing, you don't have to switch manufacturers. You can prototype a part, refine it, move to CNC machining, and even mass produce it, all on one simple platform. And if you want to check them out, I'll make sure the top link in the description below is their website. And once again, thank you to PCBWay for supporting me and my projects, and with that, back to the video. One of the main reasons that I wanted to get my parts from PCBWay was because I wanted to see how good polycarbonate was compared to something like PLA, but I didn't want to have to buy an entire roll for just one part. After I got my parts back from PCBWay, I started building the rocket that it would be flying on. I originally thought that maybe I could use an older rocket from one of my other videos since it would be cheaper, but then I realized I'm not boring. actually bought two rocket kits for this video, because when I did my calculations on the sizing of the air tag, I somehow didn't even get it right. So whenever the first rocket kit came in, I tested it with just the air tag and that wouldn't even fit. So I had to go in person this time to buy another one to make sure I got the fitting correct. While I was waiting for my parts to come in from PCBWay, I decided to print my own in PLA to test my designs and see how they would fit. And that was just to see if this idea was even possible in the first place. So I went out to a field on apparently a very windy day and I tested the design with an AirTag and my phone. Oh, I broke into. 
So just looking at that test, it wasn't looking very good. But our designs had just arrived from PCBWay and we were ready to go test this rocket. parachute popped really high okay so we just landed now we're gonna see if we can actually go find it since it says where it was so I don't really know we're gonna be able to find it air tech not reachable we're like 150 feet away so taking a look back at the footage did our air tech system actually work no not even close but the reason it didn't work is actually pretty simple so let's take a look at what I said earlier in the video, if you can use these little air tags to track your model rockets. But there's one big problem. But there's one big problem. That one big problem is how air tags actually work. When you're thinking of tracking something precisely, you're probably thinking of something called GPS, or Global Positioning System, which uses satellites to give you accurate location data. But air tags don't use GPS. Instead, they use Apple's Find My Network, which essentially is just a mesh system. An AirTag can only report its data when it's connected to a nearby iPhone. So if there aren't any iPhones nearby, like say in the middle of a launch field, you're not gonna get back any useful tracking data. That's why we barely got any updates while we were out there, even when we were standing right beside the rocket. So essentially, AirTags are really good for tracking everyday stuff that you lose all the time. But for rockets, rockets are a different story. I would not use an AirTag to track any of my rockets in the future. So we'll have to find a new idea or a new way of tracking our rockets that isn't so expensive. And so there is our AirTag rocket tracking video. Even though it may not have worked, it definitely helped me while getting a lot of experience with rocketry and designing, building, and testing different ideas that I have. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you liked the video so you don't miss any future ones. And remember to stay curious and aim for orbit. Oh! We'll figure it out.